Allegations of child sexual abuse and conspiracy to cover up at a large church in Maryland. Today, a judge is deciding whether a civil suit can move forward with this. And Greta Cruz is live in Rockville with new details on the story you saw first here on 7. Greta? Well, Allison, today's ruling did not deal with whether or not this sexual abuse actually happened, but it was a big disappointment for the alleged victims. Judge Sharon, uh, Sharon Burrell pretty much dismissed the entire civil lawsuit. She said there is a statute of limitations here and they didn't sue in time. Basically, the alleged victims had argued a conspiracy among pastors and church officials at both Covenant Life Church in Gaithersburg and Sovereign Grace Church of Fairfax and a concerted effort to cover up, cover up years of abuse and the failure to report the abuse to police. The judge agreed, though, with the attorneys representing the churches and Sovereign Grace Ministries that the victims had to sue within three years of turning age 18, and that deadline expired years ago. The statute of limitations issue probably prevents a number of these kinds of plaintiffs from coming forward with their claims unless they're within that statute of limitations. So bottom line, you're happy with the ruling? Well, for my clients, yes, I am happy because I think it was the right decision. It was just all based on technicalities. You know, it wasn't even based on the merit of, of whether or not it actually happened. Now, two of those 11 plaintiffs actually ju just did turn 18, so they may still have a case, but they live in Virginia. This is in Maryland, and that still has to be resolved. Also, there is no statute of limitations for felonies, so those pastors and those two churches could still be facing criminal charges down the road. Live at Montgomery County Circuit Court, Greta Cruz, ABC 7 News. Okay.